on how to hey guys it's a the skeleton lord and today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on how to add or edit the textures of zombies or other characters uh, thank you Donnie for the question and let's get to it so first you're gonna you're gonna want to go to your um, uh, program files steam steam apps common dead rising folder and go into the native win 64 folder uh, you may have put your dead rising folder somewhere else but this is where mine is uh, and to edit in-game zombies or in-game Frank, you're going to want to go to Akram system underscore common dot arc. And you're going to want to take this to the arc tool, which arc tool 1.7. Um, I will leave a link to this in the description or you can find it on the forum on the PC version of the game. So you're going to take the Akram system common and you'll drag it into here like this and it will decompile the files and you will be able to go in here and go to model uh, EM this is the skinny male zombie so we'll go in here and we will take BM40 which when we go to the texture tool which D3DR, which will also be in the forum, and I'll also leave a link to it in the description. Uh, you will have the BM40 texture, and once again, drag it into here, and you'll have it right here as the DDS file. Now, to edit it or anything like that, to edit the photo, uh, take it into uh, this is GIMP. Um, you can get Photoshop or Paint or whatever or you can change this to a PNG file and edit it on more stuff um, I'm gonna keep it on DDS so this is the in-game image uh, this is his cutscene model image which is noticeably higher quality so we're gonna replace the in-game image with the cutscene image and I wanted to go a little bit further than that since as you can see his skin is a is a brighter tone in the end game to fit that we kind of upped this just a little bit not too much and I wanted to make his hair and beard a little brighter so now we've got that and you will save and export your image however you like and we will go back here and now that you have a PNG file of what you like you take this and you go to aconvert.com and uh, I'll send the link for this too but you can see the link right here you'll choose your image target format DDS keep it image size and convert now when that's done converting you'll go to this little button right here and it will take you here then on you will click this and it will download it and you'll go back to your D3DR tool drag this into here and it will give you a r slash texture file then you will drag this back to your arc tool and drag that texture back into your folder where uh, you opened it up in the common in the em00 and you replace it you'll name it the whatever you're replacing and we're replacing the same file so uh, you'll name it that now that you've replaced the texture you're gonna wanna go to where the arc tool is and then drag the um, the folder that you edited and drag it back into the arc tool and make sure to name it something different like mine was common bright that's what I named mine drag it into here and it will create it will recompile like this And it will take a little while. And now you've got that file. 
You'll copy it. You'll take it to wherever it is you want. I'm going to put it in a new folder too. You'll paste it. And I usually copy it again. You'll remove that from it. And then you will drag it into your game file. You'll replace the file in the destination. And that is how you swap textures in Dead Rising. Um, in just a second I'll show you what it looks like in game before and after. So this is before. So as you can see his hair is relatively dark everywhere you look his hair is relatively dark now you'll notice his hair is much lighter almost a light brown or dirty blonde or almost a red but uh, his hair is much lighter and yeah so yeah, that is how to swap textures in Dead Rising. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, peace out.